What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC server certified coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Exponent from 900 Global. Before we fire it up, scroll on down and smack that subscribe button. It's the best thing you can do to help out the channel and we really appreciate it. While you're there, hit the notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next one. But with that out of the way, let's dive in. The only thing that could make this release better in theory is if they would have stuck with the Honey Badger nomenclature. The all new Exponent from 900 Global is a derivative of that great line of bowling balls with this one featuring the Shrapnel 2.0 core and the all new Reserve Batch 701 solid cover stock coming out of the box at a 4000 grit. Also worth noting, Storm has this piece labeled as being between a 74 and a 76 hardness, which is harder than most other releases. Because this ball is benchmark in nature, we went with the benchmark layout for me. The 5x5x2 2LS layout is one you've seen on many different releases on this channel and has proven to work pretty well. The hope is that we would see more of the same success we saw on the TNT, Primal Shock, and others on this exponent. And on the lanes, to say I was pleasantly surprised is actually a bit of an understatement. If you've watched this channel for any time, you probably know that Symmetrical Solids and I typically don't get along on house shots, but this exponent just kept on striking. The motion was most of what I expected getting to the pins, but the continuation and carry was far greater than I expected. Also, as I moved further and further inside, most pieces like this sort of quit around fourth arrow, but not this one. Sure, I had to make some adjustments, but when I threw it well, even from deep inside, there was a pretty good chance I was going to strike. And to me, that's the best part about this newest piece from 900. See, on most house shots, all you really have to do is get your ball speed, rev rate, and bowling ball strength to match up and you're going to strike a lot. Most pieces will have a specific area of the lane where they do that best, like the Zen Gold label did in our last review, but this exponent was able to be manipulated by hand position and ball speed and still strike with authority. In short, this thing is both versatile, but also reliable on the bad shots. Looking on the other side of the coin, I think the list of potential downsides is short, but it's not zero. For one, this feels like a piece that will tame down or even wear out quickly. When I go bowl, especially on tournament conditions, you can bet I'll freshen up the surface before we even start because I just know that's how this thing will have its best shape. Also, I think the likelihood of this piece being the best option on tougher, fresh conditions is kind of low, even though it has a benchmark type reaction. I don't think it's strong enough when the conditions are lower ratio to see the right shape early in blocks. But for house conditions, putting this piece in the bag with a Zen Gold label and an Eternity could spell disaster for your opponents. Since there is almost always free hook on house and there is almost no necessity for a super strong piece, having the exponent be the first one on the lanes then moving in with either of those pearls is sure to be close in almost any bowling center. For comparison's sake, I first grabbed my Roto Grip TNT which you can see is notably stronger front to back grabbing the lane sooner and starting its motion towards the pocket that little bit earlier. With that, even though it's still pretty continuous through the pins, it's definitely slower transitioning than the Exponent. With some extra surface, this shape might be that next level of strength necessary for those flatter conditions to hit the lanes before the Exponent. For our cross-brand comparison, I grabbed the one that many consider to be one of the greats, the Motive Venom Shock. The core numbers are similar, but I myself was shocked by how much the Venom struggled compared to the Exponent. I'm not sure if it was carry down or the MFS solid cover on the shock reading early, but the eye test doesn't fail us here in showing us that the Exponent was the superior shape on this house shot. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with this piece. The first is rev dominant bowlers. This one's pretty simple. The harder I hit the Exponent, the better it looked. Sure, that forced me to open up my angles and play further inside, but isn't that what house shots are for? The Exponent does a great job of opening up the big wheel for heavy-handed bowlers. The second is a huge category, house shot bowlers. This one actually feels like a recommendable benchmark shape for high ratio conditions. So if you need a reliable piece to be the first one out of your bag for league night, I don't think you need to look much further than this piece from 900 Global. The all new Exponent might not sit at the top of the performance chart, but with a shape like this, I'd be willing to bet you'll see an exponential rise in your scores. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Shout out to Ryan Chabransky for the layout and drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.